hey welcome guys in advanced excel program 2013 and today we're going to learn about data validation in previous video we try to understand the purpose of data validation and now we're going to practically use it to access data validation in excel 2013 you have to go in data tab and here in the data tool section you would see a data validation drop down and here is the first option that will say uh, like a data validation so you have to click on it and this box is uh, you know divided in three tabs one is setting this for setting criteria second is input message input message is one of the feature that comes in a picture when you want to give a message to user just like uh, whenever your mouse come on that cell a message would populate that you can enter you know date time or you can choose uh, you know uh, any option from the drop down so you can give those message here and in the third tab is a uh, error alert so whenever user enter an incorrect data into cell they get a message and we can design that message here so here is a style of message either the stop warning or information and here we can give title and error message so let's learn now how to set criteria. So go in a setting and in the settings you would see here validation criteria and by default you would see any value selected in the drop down. So once you will click on the drop down you would see a variety of options. So first we are going to discuss about whole number. Whole number allow you to you know fix a minimum maximum numbers and metric so in the second op you know drop down you can select what kind of metric that need to be you know uh, measured by data validation so at this point it is between option and we can select any one of these options so I'm gonna select between for this demo and minimum value 1 maximum value 10 and here you would see I have selected F11 cell here and I'm going to apply this validation criteria in this cell I'm gonna click OK the moment I would click OK I would not be able to type anything that will be greater than 10 if I enter that I will get an error message and I can you know design that error message here I can go and give title okay so if I enter 9 this cell will accept it but if I try to enter 11 I would get that error message you have entered more than 10 points so this how you know data validation works it prevent user to enter incorrect value into cell and now see how the message works I'm going back in data validation and here is the input message I can give instruction to end user so I have typed please enter points here okay so you would see whenever user will click on this cell a message will populate here and that would be saying please enter points here so this is a result of that input message that we entered in data validation so there are some other measurement also available in data drop down so you would see there are some other options just like data uh, between not between equal to not equal to greater than less than greater than or equal to or less than or equal to so we can select any one of these option based on our requirements the next option in the criteria is a decimal and it would work in the same way as whole number works so if you select decimal so only difference would be instead of whole number you would be giving values into decimal numbers the third option is list this is one of the important you know, option usually people want to learn about this there are two method of you know entering source value into list one is entering by your own here or second is giving uh, you know picking values from cells so in this table that I created here we will try to create a validation list let me click here first or 
on this cell going data validation I'm going to select list sorry list and I can enter a manual values here like India UK USA and enter so you would see when I will click on the drop down menu I would see only you know these three options and if I try to type something else system will not accept it because we have a validation in that cell and second method of uh, putting value in the list is picking values from cells so let me type here and I will call this value in validation in this cell you would see we don't have any validation at this point so I'm going back in data validation I'm going to choose list and in source I will not type this time I'm gonna click on range and select J1 to J3 by my mouse and okay so you would see I have that drop down so now let's learn some more options in validation I'm going back in validation data validation and we used list in a sim similar way as we have a whole number and decimal we have a date time tax length and we can have a you know the custom option as well so in date you can give date between you can pick the date from range as well or you can give uh, manual dates as well same way time that will be a 24 hours of clock that you can use into validation table and tax length you would also get that metric as well so you can give a tax length as well So if I try to give a minimum length of 1 and maximum of 4, I click OK. So you would see if I type more than 4, four digits or 4 alphabet into cell just like this, this will not accept it because that cell have a, you know more than 4 alphabets in that cell. So the system will not accept that now see the next criteria that we have that is a custom so in custom you can use formula as well any formula that can you know help you uh, you know restrict user to enter incorrect value into cell to show you how to use formula in validation I'm giving an example of this the same cell F11 here and I'm giving a criteria of greater than 5 sorry greater than 5 so if any value in that cell is a greater than 5 then validation will accept that otherwise it will reject it and give the error that we have you know given here so I'm gonna check it 10 is fine 9 is fine but if I give 3 it will populate that error again so this how you know you can use formulas in in custom validation box and last but not least this option here is play a very uh, important role if you have applied the validation in the list of you know cells or more than one cell so you just have to click on here and click ok this will apply the same validation in all those cells which already have validation so 
just like this one if I try to copy and paste it here so you would see they all have same kind of parent criteria that we have entered in this cell so if I try to enter more than four characters in the cell it is accepting it but if I modify the validation again and instead of custom I select again text length and give a maximum length of four characters and I click on apply these changes to all other cells so validation applied on the B3 cell will automatically apply to the rest of the cells as well so we can check that if I go and add it again and press enter I would see error because the alphabet that I enter in that cell is a more than four characters so next thing in data validation to learn is to find out invalid cells so if you're using a huge data sets and you want to find out which cell has an invalid data validation so this can be a very uh, useful feature for you so for that you have to go back in data data validation drop down and here is the second option of circle invalid data the moment you will click on it you will see this is red circle on that data set which has an invalid value into that because we have validated this cell for only uh, four characters so only four alphabet can be uh, you know accepted by these data cells and more than that system will count it as invalid data so either we can correct this or we can delete it so in for this demo I'm going to correct it I'm gonna type here anything that it can accept I'm going to undo this so I can show you one more thing now we're going to again find out the invalid data into this column I have selected entire column going data circle invalid data and we found again the invalid data set in our record so in some scenario you do not want to delete that you want to keep it for some reasons for that you don't need the circle to highlight again and again for you because you that may be a you know known issues for you so you can undo this you know or remove these circles by going back in data same in data tool data validation drop down drop down and here is a clear validation circle so the moment you will click on it it will remove that circle we try to cover all feature of data validation and in next video we will learn about advanced customization in excel 2013 and please don't forget to subscribe it on youtube so you can get update on new modules and videos that i will be adding later in this course so thank you for watching it we will meet again